Welcome to Math Magnet. Math made easy. This is for all you little geniuses who need a little help with math. Remember to use this video only as a guide to help you solve your math problems after you have attempted to solve them yourselves. Let's get into today's video. Today we shall see chapter 14 triangles from workbook for grade 5. We shall try to solve problems under practice 1 and practice 2 today. Let us first understand how triangles can be classified based on their sides. In this first triangle, we will see that all the sides are of equal length. When in a triangle, all sides are measured the same, they are called an equilateral triangle. We should also note that all the angles inside an equilateral triangle will always be equal to 60 degrees. That is, each angle will be equal to 60 degrees. The second type of triangle is the isosceles triangle where at least two sides are of equal length. And one other important point to note in an isosceles triangle is the angle opposite to the two equal sides will be measured the same. So this angle opposite to this side and this angle is opposite to this side. So these two angles will be equal. In a scalene triangle, all the sides are of different length and all the angles also could be different. So these are the three types of triangle based on their sides. Now we are going to see how triangles are classified by their angles. If in a triangle there is at least one angle that is equal to 90 degrees, it is called a right angled triangle. If in a triangle all the angles are less than 90 degrees, that is if they form acute angles in all the corners, they are called acute angle triangle. In this triangle, when one of the angles, any one angle is greater than 90 degrees, that is if any one angle forms an obtuse angle, this triangle is called an obtuse angle triangle. So we are going to start with practice 1, classifying triangles. Let's look at the first question. Which of these triangles are equilateral or isosceles? Use a ruler to find out. So question A, they are given us a triangle ABC. Now if we take a scale and measure the three sides, AB, BC and AC, we will find out that they measure the same. So when we measure, we will say AB equal to BC equal to AC. So what is the name of the triangle when all the three sides are same? Yes, it is an equilateral triangle. So triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle. Let's look at next question B. Here the triangle given is a right angle triangle DEF. Now we can say in a right angle triangle this other two angles can be equal. It's a possibility. So in a right angle triangle can be an isosceles triangle. Okay. So since there is one angle 90 degree and in an isosceles angle we know two angles will be same. Two sides will measure the same. And the angles opposite the equal sides will also measure the same. So we can say right angled triangle can be an isosceles side triangle. So triangle DEF could be an isosceles triangle. Next question C. The triangle given is a triangle LMN and they have given angle L as 60 degrees. Now we know in an equilateral triangle each angle is equal to 60 degrees. So we can say that if this triangle is an equilateral triangle because one of the angle is 60 degrees. We can assume the other two are also equal to 60 degrees and we can call them equilateral triangle. The next question D. They have given us a triangle PQR. Here we can see that angle R is an obtuse angle. The question was to identify if this triangle is an equilateral triangle or an isosceles triangle. So from the given figure we know angle R is an obtuse angle and we also know equilateral triangles all the angles are always equal to 60 degrees. Since this is already an obtuse angle we can assume that this is an isosceles triangle. Since triangle PQR is an obtuse angle triangle 
and an obtuse angle triangle could be an isosceles triangle you can say triangle pqr could be an isosceles triangle so question 2 which of these triangles are right angled acute angled or obtuse angled in a they are given as a triangle abc it is clearly evident that angle a is a right angle that is 90 degrees so we can say in triangle abc angle a is 90 degrees so triangle abc is a right angle triangle next question b they are given as a triangle def here we know in triangle def angle f is greater than 90 degrees it is evident that it is not a right angle but an obtuse angle so this is an obtuse angle triangle let's see for the next question c they have given us a triangle lmn now we can see in angle l it is obviously an obtuse angle here it is greater than 90 degrees so in triangle lmn since angle l is greater than 90 degrees this is a obtuse angle triangle the next question d they are given us a triangle pqr now in this triangle if we notice angle p is an acute angle angle r is an acute angle angle q is also an acute angle since all the three angles pqr is less than 90 degrees we can say triangle pqr is an acute angle triangle now we are starting with practice to sum of angles in a triangle before we go to the question let us see a basic concept in a triangle we should know that a sum of all the angles in a triangle in any angle for any triangle for that matter the sum of all the angles will always be equal to 180 degrees so in this particular triangle angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 will be equal to 180 degrees this is a basic concept that will be implementing in all the questions that follow in practice 2 let's look at the first question in triangle abc angle cab equal to 43 degrees and angle bca equal to 62 degrees find angle cba so this is the triangle that they have given in the book over here so let's we know that as i told you in the beginning of this practice too that for any given triangle the sum of all angles will be equal to 180 degrees and in this particular triangle abc they have given us the figures angle cab equal to 43 degrees and angle bca equal to 62 degrees so from the concept that sum of angles is equal to 180 degrees we can say angle cab angle cab and angle bca and angle cba is equal to 180 degrees so angle cba we can find by simply subtracting 180 degrees minus 43 degrees minus 62 degrees which is equal to 75 degrees so the unknown angle cba is equal to 75 degrees question number 2 in triangle def angle efd equal to 50 degrees and angle def equal to 72 degrees they have asked us to find angle fde to find that we know the basic concept in all triangle the sum of all angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees so in triangle def angle efd is already given as 50 degrees and angle def is already given as 72 degrees we can also say angle efd plus angle def plus angle f de is equal to 180 degrees the unknown angle here is fde and that can be found by subtracting 180 minus 50 minus 72 degrees which will give you 58 degrees so the unknown angle fde is equal to 58 degrees question 3 in triangle fgh angle hfg equal to 15 degrees and an angle fgh equal to 26 degrees find angle fhg 
so we know in in a triangle sum of all angles is equal to 180 degrees and in triangle fgh they have given angle hfg equal to 15 degrees and fgh equal to 26 degrees this is given in the figure itself so the unknown angle is fhg to find that we know angle hfg plus angle fgh plus angle fhg is equal to 180 degrees so the unknown angle fhg equal to 180 degrees minus 15 degrees minus 26 degrees which will be equal to 139 degrees so the unknown angle fhg is equal to 139 degrees question 4 In triangle X Y Z, angle X Y Z equal to Y Z X equal to 45 degrees. They have asked us to find angle Z X Y. So we know in sum of uh, in a triangle, sum of all the angles is equal to 180 degrees. So in triangle X Y Z, they have given X Y Z and Y Z X is equal to 45 degrees, which is seen in the figure. So the unknown angle Y X Z we need to find. So x y z plus y z x plus z x y equal to 180 degrees. So angle z x y equal to 180 degrees minus 45 degrees minus 45 degrees, which is equal to 90 degrees. So the unknown angle z x y is equal to 90 degrees. Question five. In triangle A B C, angle A B C is equal to 107 degrees. and angle bca is equal to 35 degrees they have asked us to find angle cab so we know sum of all angles in a triangle is 180 degrees and in the given triangle abc angle abc is 107 and bca is equal to 35 which is given in the figure we can say angle abc plus angle bca plus angle cab is equal to 180 degrees so the unknown angle CAB can be found by simply subtracting 180 degrees minus 107 degrees minus 35 degrees which is equal to 38 degrees so the unknown angle CAB is equal to 38 degrees let's look at the last question in practice 2 in triangle PRQ angle RPS is equal to 50 degrees that is RPS is equal to 50 degrees and angle prs is equal to 60 degrees and an angle sqp is equal to 32 degrees they have asked us to find angle spq we can say in in a triangle sum of all the angles is equal to 180 degrees so in triangle prq angle rps equal to 50 degrees angle prs is equal to 60 degrees and angle sqp is equal to 32 degrees so we can say uh, angle rps plus angle prs plus angle sqp plus angle spq will be equal to 180 degrees for the triangle prq now Angle SPQ is equal to 180 minus 50 minus 60 minus 32, which is equal to 38 degrees. So the unknown angle SPQ is equal to 38 degrees. Thank you, friends. Hope you found this video helpful. If yes, please do like, share with your friends, and subscribe for more such useful videos. Feel free to comment your doubts down below and I shall get back to you at the earliest. See you soon with another math video. Bye.